Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. Today's video we're going to be talking about some stuff I've seen on Instagram lately and whether I think I'm going to pick it up. So let's get started. First up from Kat Von D, we have a new Everlasting Liquid Lipstick color. This is in the shade Tank Girl. It's definitely sort of like an army jacket, fatigues kind of green. Uh, I don't think the swatch actually looks nearly as good as the picture of someone with it on their face. And then one of her makeup artists actually did that and posted it as well. So once I saw this photo, I was much more interested in possibly picking this one up. This is an exclusive shade to the Kat Von D uh, website as opposed to like Sephora. So if you want this, you do have to go to the separate website to purchase it. I do think I'm a little tempted by it. I'm not sure I'm going to buy it right this minute. Um, I'll probably wait for the next time I have a coupon. However... It is pretty cool looking, uh, and I do love me a green lipstick. Also, speaking of green lipsticks, while I was at IMATS New York, I met one of the artists there and got my picture taken, and she told me, and you know, it might be a lie, but she did tell me that they're going to be coming out with a green Everlasting Glimmer Veil, which made me super excited, so I figured I would let people know that as well, that there's new shades coming, and that green is definitely one of them. Next up, this is from the Trend Mood Instagram. This is for Besame Cosmetics. This is for an Avengers collection for Avengers Infinity War. And essentially, the colors of the eyeshadow, and I think also there's like a lip gloss, like a tinted lip gloss. These are all based on the colors of the Infinity Stones. I have to say that the swatches of the eyeshadow look pretty awesome. But I also need to remind myself they're very similar to the Kat Von D Metal Crush eyeshadows. And I probably don't necessarily need to pick one up. But I have to say, whenever I see anything rainbow colored, I'm immediately like, ooh, what's that? So I do want to see these. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to see them in person. So if I can't, I won't be purchasing them. But if they show up, for example, you know, every once in a while, they see some Besame stuff at uh, Sephora. So if I could actually swatch it, I'd be interested. But otherwise, I'll just probably skip it. But the colors do look awesome. This next item I found on the Tentalia Instagram. This is a ColourPop collaboration with Makeup by Shayla. I have to say that the eyeshadow palette is the thing that's really drawing me in here, but similar to some other eyeshadow palettes lately, if I cover up like the top four shades, uh, then basically it's just a bunch of like coppers and oranges and reds and browns, which is all the same as the other stuff. It just looks like like naked heat, that kind of thing. And I'm really sick of that. I don't want any more warm toned eyeshadow palettes. I am really digging the right half of the palette, but the left half of the palette is not doing anything for me. And the lipsticks look nice and all, but they're pretty similar to other stuff. So I was a little disappointed because at first I saw like the blue and the pink on the far right side and thought, ooh, maybe I should pick this up. But otherwise, I, I just, I want some different colors. This is just not my, this is not my jam. Similarly to uh, every shade in the palette is kind of the same, except we have one crazy outlier. This is from Smashbox. This is a new cover shot palette. This is... The Pinks and Palms, this is going to be $29. So this is going to be a little teeny tiny palette. It looks much bigger than it is, but it's really not. Those are like credit card size. I do think that that minty color is awesome, but the rest of it's really just pinks and shimmers. However, that minty shade looks pretty great. It's very difficult because I do feel like I probably have most of these shades in a different palette. I wish that there was just like maybe one or two other interesting shades in this. Smashbox eyeshadow is not my favorite. I think it's fine. So it's not like it's that the problem just this just does not seem quite exciting enough however this from smashbox this is the petal metal highlighter in prismatic pearl this is the sephora exclusive this is part of their collaboration with blotta this looks amazing i don't know if i want to get it because it's expensive but i want to get it because it's so pretty it just looks so beautiful in the container i'm hoping that they will have some of the other shades available in stores for swatching i want to see what the highlighter looks like on skin I know this one is an online only exclusive apparently, though that doesn't necessarily mean I won't find it. Living in New York City means that it's probably there, but it's probably on the Lexington and 59th Street store. They tend to have all sorts of weird stuff. Or the one in the Flatiron building. That one also tends to get the stuff that most of the other stores don't carry. So I'm going to go look for it and see if I can find it. And if it's as pretty as it looks, I will probably pick this one up. So when I was doing the research for this video, which basically meant I sat and looked at Instagram for a little while, this was basically all over my feed, so I figured I'd better talk about it. However, I have zero interest in this. This is from Lime Crime. This is a new Venus palette. I don't like this brand. I don't like their eyeshadows. I don't like what they stand for. I just don't like them. I won't be buying this. I have no interest. I wish it would go away because it's the only thing I can see on my Instagram, and I'm sick of it. It's not even like it's new. It just looks like the Lila palette from Natasha Denona, only smaller and crappier. So, nope. 
And on a happier note, this last one is a sneak preview on the Trend Mood Instagram, but this is for Huda Beauty. These are apparently shades from two new mini palettes that are coming out from, from Huda. I already have two of her mini palettes, and I love them. They are amazing. I have the Electric Obsessions and the Smoky Obsessions. I think they're wonderful eyeshadow palettes. They're so easy to take with me. The shadows are super pigmented. I can make a ton of different looks with them, and they pair really well with other shadows. So looking at these two colors, I am all in. Whatever these are, I'm buying them. I am buying them. There's no doubt about it. This is a great eyeshadow formula. I love these minis. I'm totally picking this up. Super excited about this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content on this channel, please subscribe. If you've got a suggestion for a video, please let me know. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.